What's up guys, I hope everyone is doing well. I am back with yet another gaming laptop review and today we are checking out the HP Omen X. So this is super heavy, super powerful and it may just be the best gaming laptop that I have tested to date. So let's jump in and take a closer look at it. So starting with the design of course, you can tell straight away that this is aimed at gamers with those massive exhausts, the chunky build and enough RGB lighting to light up your whole room. It is constructed from a brushed aluminium with some plastics here and there and honestly I love the premium feel and you certainly will not have to worry about any flex. If you are planning taking your gaming on the road with you then this 17 inch monster may cause you a little trouble if your bag isn't roomy enough and at 4.85 kilograms it certainly isn't the lightest and is quite beefy but I found it pretty easy to carry around with me on short journeys. As I mentioned we have a ton of RGB lighting areas on this laptop starting with the large Omen X logo on the lid which I think looks pretty cool followed by a light strip on the bottom then taking a look at the deck we of course have an RGB keyboard which I will discuss shortly along with the power button and the Omen branding. This can all be controlled via the built in software known as command center and as you would expect just like every other RGB product out there you can customize this till your heart's content. You get all the colors, you get all the effects and all the usual stuff so I won't bore you by going over that again and again because honestly at this point it's the same on every single software so you can film this as you like and I'm sure you will not be disappointed. So jumping back to the keyboard you will be happy to know that it is mechanical and honestly I quite enjoyed it after the initial period of getting used to it which probably took me around a day of use then I could fire up my favourite games and just enjoy it. If you like setting up a ton of macros then you'll be happy to know that on the left hand side you have a nice row of them and you can of course program them all in the command centre which is pretty good. Now onto the trackpad, as I tell you with every single laptop review that I do I hardly ever use the trackpad but for the sake of the review I put myself through that misery and went ahead and used it but honestly Overall it is a pretty decent trackpad, I was able to browse the web, browse YouTube and do things like Twitter etc with no trouble at all but obviously if you're using this for gaming which it is designed for then you will be using a mouse and when you connect a mouse up obviously there is no trouble at all but if you like the trackpad it is absolutely fine for general browsing and using of the laptop itself. Moving on to the screen and I must say that I was pretty impressed with the 1080p IPS panel. The colours were really nice for gaming of course and it even runs at 120Hz and supports G-Sync so gaming and consuming content on it was an absolute pleasure but as with most gaming laptop screens you won't want to be colour correcting or doing any professional work on it as I think it probably was a little oversaturated at times but that's why I like it when I'm gaming etc so definitely this gets a thumbs up from me. So now let's jump in and take a look at the ports. On the rear you will find a gigabit ethernet port, two Thunderbolt 3 ports, a mini display port, HDMI port and a USB 3.1. On the left we have another USB 3.1 along with your headphone and microphone ports. And last up, on the right, we have a card reader which is absolutely awesome, another USB 3.1 and last of all, of course, your power port. So before I jump in and show you the benchmarks, obviously I should tell you what my unit is running. We have a 4 core overclockable Intel i7-7820HK, 16GB of DDR4 memory and a GTX 1070 with 8GB of GDDR5. So with specs like this, you would expect the benchmarks to be pretty respectable. And with a Firestrike Extreme score of 7274 and a graphics score of 7869, they were indeed pretty awesome. But most importantly, how well does it game? Because anyone buying this will be using it for gaming. Obviously, all the benchmarks are ran at 1080p as it is a 1080p panel and they were all ran at their highest settings. So let's jump in and check them out. So I went ahead and fired up GTA 5 and ran it on Ultra with the MSAA at times 4 and Shadows on Softest and we managed to achieve an average frame rate of 90 frames per second. Moving on to Rise of the Tomb Raider, I selected the very high preset and ran the built-in benchmark and we saw an average of 101 FPS so again a great result here. 
A favourite benchmark of mine, Metro Last Light, is up next and I set the quality to very high along with the tessellation and after a few runs we saw an average FPS of 128. Last up of course, PUBG. And while it's not the best for benchmarking, I just wanted to go ahead and play it anyway so it gave me an excuse and I fired all the settings up as high as possible with foliage and shadows set to medium because this is my preferred settings for playing a game and I saw an average frame rate of 94, so definitely playable on the Omen X. Okay, so as you can tell from the benchmarks, the Omen X is certainly a capable machine and can run games at 1080p max settings with no trouble at all and honestly the overall experience is super enjoyable. But you can go ahead and upgrade to the GTX 1080 if you wish, but obviously it's going to cost you that extra dollar. One thing worth pointing out though is that if you don't wear a gaming headset, the fans can get pretty loud and obviously they're pushing all that air out of them air vents. And I was wearing a gaming headset the whole time and couldn't hear them, but when I went ahead and took it off, you could definitely hear them. They ramp up pretty loud. And temperature wise, the fans were obviously doing a good job as the highest temp I seen was 76 degrees while gaming. So I definitely can't complain there. So even although the benchmarks were awesome, you can go ahead and squeeze some extra power out of the Omen X by jumping into the command center. And in here you can overclock both the CPU and GPU and run stress tests to make sure everything is stable. But do bear in mind, you will only be able to do this when it is plugged into the mains to use the feature. And I assume if you are gaming for long periods of time, you will do that anyway. As even while I was just browsing the web, watching YouTube, etc, I did see under 4 hours of battery life, so just bear that in mind. Honestly, at this point, every single gaming laptop requires you to be plugged in if you want to game for prolonged periods of time, so it's really no issue at all. But it's good to know that if you are browsing the web, watching YouTube, all that kind of stuff, you will get just under 4 hours of usage, so it's not too terrible at all. Ok so let's round this up, the Omen X is for serious gamers out there who want nothing but the best for their portable gaming needs. For my model it will set you back £2,299 here in the UK, but as I was looking at the price on the web I did notice that HP are offering a deal and if you are thinking of jumping right in now then HP are offering the GTX 1080 model for 2298 with an e-voucher, which I think is a pretty awesome deal and obviously it makes super sense if you are going to buy it now that you go for that deal. I will also leave my Amazon affiliate link down below just in case you want to purchase on Amazon for any reason. As always guys, if you have any questions about this laptop, let me know down below as I'm sure I've probably missed something out, just like always. As always guys, thank you so much for tuning in, stay safe, be kind to each other, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace!